After building the first Evil Duck with Wi-Fi compatibility, I thought to myself, why not make a classic version as well and make it open source so everyone could make one. So here we are now. Before we jump into the build, let's talk about what a rubber duck is. Essentially, it's a USB device that looks like a regular flash drive but act as a keyboard when plugged into a computer. It can automatically execute pre-written script at lightning speed, making it a popular tool for cybersecurity experts and penetration testers. Alright, now for the fun part, building it yourself. The great thing about this project is that you can use affordable components and make your own USB rubber ducky at home. I'll guide you through the process step by step, including the parts you need, assembling them and getting it to run scripts. Let's take a look at the components you need for this project. An Arduino macro, an SD card reader module, and a few other components like an LED for a status indication. All the parts are easily accessible and I've listed them in my GitHub and website. To set up the Evil Duck, you need to download the code from my GitHub and upload it into your Arduino. If you are using an Arduino macro, select the Arduino macro from the Arduino menu and then choose the correct port. Next, create a text file called a script on your macro SD card and then copy and paste the script into it. Then, you are all set to go. One of the key features of this build is the LED indicator. If the LED blink every second, that means the SD card is missing. And if the LED blinks every 2 seconds, that means no script is found. And finally, the LED will blink with every command executed from the scripts. This makes it super easy to troubleshoot and know exactly what is going on with your evil dot. For those interested in taking it a step further, let me demonstrate how to create the evil duck using a custom PCB. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is committed to providing engineers with an affordless and top quality solution for customizing PCBs, enabling efficient hardware development even with limited resources. GLC PCB offers it all. EDA software for seamless design, high quality PCB manufacturing, extensive component sourcing, and complete PCBA assembly. Simply head over to glcpcb.com, upload your PCB design files, select your preferences, and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. Check out GLC PCB Engineers Day deals to get $125 off coupons, bulk order discount, and chance to win a $150 Amazon gift card. At Mega32U4, this is the brain of our rubber ducky and being an SMD component, it requires precise soldering. The pins are quite small, so you'll need a fine-tipped soldering iron, or even better, a hot air rework station for proper placement. AM1117 voltage regulator. This regulates the voltage for your SD card reader. When soldering the AM1117, take extra care with the ground and VCC connections. This component helps step down voltage from 5V to 3.3V, protecting sensitive components. SD card reader. This is where we store all the payload scripts. It's also an SMD component. Soldering this can be tricky because of small pins, so take your time to ensure each connection is properly made and that there are no short between the pins. The male USB connector is how our rubber ducky interacts with the computer. This connector will also provide power to the circuit, so proper soldering is crucial for both functionality and durability. And there you have it, your very own DIY USB rubber ducky. Whether you stick with the breadboard version or go all out with a custom PCB, this project will definitely up your cyber security game. Make sure to subscribe, like the video and hit the bell so you don't miss future projects.